Hey guys, what's up? Today we are going to be playing Mortal Kombat 11. Uh, got the Xbox One version here, and I got the Nintendo Switch version here, which I was very excited for. Ran them both from Redbox to try them out and compare. Um, however, this video is mainly going to be about why I'm probably not going to buy the Switch version, even though I was really excited for it. So let's get started. So before we really get started on the gameplay in this video, which is mainly going to focus the Switch on the Switch version, it's not going to really cover the Xbox version too much, with the exception of some comparisons, which I got sitting right here. I rented both these from Redbox to try them out, but um, the main the main thing in this video is it's going to focus on why I'm probably not going to buy the Switch version of Mortal Kombat 11, even though I was really looking forward to it, and the reason being is because it the the content in the game is about i want to say 22 gigs or something like that and it comes on an 8 gig cartridge and the rest of it has to be downloaded so if you guys follow my channel and you know kind of like my previous rants uh i'm not a big fan of physical releases requiring like a major day one download in order to function so it's it's just not something i can support it's i i, I refuse to support that business practice to me it's it's like the equivalent of drm or um as someone who kind of believes in video game preservation that kind of thing um it's what what happens later on when the servers shut down i mean like nintendo has done that in the past with their wii servers uh you know five ten no not five like ten fifteen years from now um when the server shut down and you go to play this game and you have to re-download the game, but you can't because there's no more servers. You have to rely on pirating. Or uh, what if the game came out, which at this time it hasn't, but what if the servers uh, crashed and you can't download and play the game? Like when Mortal Kombat 9 came out and the PlayStation servers crashed and no one could play online on the PlayStation 3 for like a month and a half or just, just things like that. So I, I think it's a horrible business practice and it's just it's not something I support. Um, pretty much any game that comes out on Nintendo Switch that I look forward to playing but supports that, like like this game right here, for example, uh, Mega Man, Mega Man X uh, Legacy. Um, the only reason I bought this one is because half the content is on the cartridge. The other half is actually a code. It's not just a download, but you have to redeem it. So that means when someone went to resell this, they're only reselling half the content. So I was actually able to score this on eBay for $8.50. So I was going to buy the Japanese copy off of Play Asia, but because I came across this one for really, really cheap, so I actually bought the second one off of Play Asia, which is in the mail. So I'm, I'm should be getting that pretty soon. But like, if that wasn't an option, I, I don't need to buy this. I have all the original ones. Like, Right here. I mean, here's there's four, five, and six right here. I mean, there's all the original ones. And even if I didn't have the original ones, I got this. Sorry, I got like plastic on it to protect my game cases because <laughs> of the glare. But yeah, I, I got this guy here, which is actually plays better, plays better than this one does anyway, in my opinion. But I'll probably do another video on that. But like um, Final Fantasy X and X-2. Um, the first, the first, the first game's on the cartridge, but the second game is a download, which is bullcrap because, uh, again, you know, what if the servers crash later down the road or get disconnected or turn offline or something like that? But the Japanese and the Asian copies, it's all the data is on the cartridge, and I pre I went ahead and bought that one off of PlayAsia as well, so I'm expecting that. But again, I don't really play a lot of newer Final Fantasies. I mean, I'll get around to playing them eventually. It'd be nice to play them on the go, but, you know, here's my original copies right here. <laughs> and here it is on PlayStation 3. So I, do, I don't need to buy the Switch version. I just would like to have the Switch version so I can play the game on the go. So, if, I mean, if it comes down to... Uh, the physical version coming out, but half the content needing to be downloaded. Um, if it comes without a dealing with that or just 
not buying the game at all. I'd rather not buy the game at all. I'd rather these companies sell the game for like a couple of dollars more if they have to to justify the cost of the cartridge. I mean, from my perspective, I either ha I would have their have to spend a couple of couple extra dollars on the game, or I'd have to spend some extra money on a bigger SD card. So either way, it's I gotta spend a little extra money. But anyway. That, that's my rant on this, so I'm probably not going to buy the game, but I want to see how far I can get without downloading the actual content. So I just put this co this cartridge into my Nintendo Switch. I just took it out of the container, the red box container. I've been playing this one for probably the last eight or nine hours, and I, I beat the story mode. It's actually a good story mode. I, I like it better. I like the story better than Mortal Kombat X. Not as good as 9, though. 9 is still the best out of all the Mortal Kombats. But, um... But my Switch is in airplane mode, as you can see in the top corner. And just to show you, go down to data management. There should be no Mortal Kombat data. There might be like a section of the game from putting in the cartridge. But yeah, we got no data. So that popped up just from putting the cartridge in. That's that's about it. So there is, other than that, there is nothing. So no update. It's in airplane mode. Starting the software. Okay, so here we are in the game. And I can already tell by the background and stuff. It's playing in a much lower resolution. Oh yeah, see like the menus and everything looks kind of fuzzy. Looks like sub 720p actually. <laughs> yeah, and my switch is set to 1080p. And of course, we are in dock mode because here I am playing with the controller and everything and capturing. <laughs> yeah, it is set to 1080p. But yeah, we'll just we'll just do just a simple fight here to see the content on here. But there might be like a a performance update, like one of the major patches and whatnot. Probably just has a little bit of performance. Who knows? But. Yeah, this is just raw data right off right off the cartridge. And right away it's missing a bunch of characters. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's it's six, seven, eight, nineteen, eleven. Thir it's missing thirteen characters here, so it just has the, the twelve twelve regular just twelve main characters here. So we got Raiden, Scarlet, Cabal, Jade, Cassie Cage, Johnny Cage, Sonya, Kano. Jiris, Scorpion, Sub-Zero, and Baraka. So, a decent amount of characters. We'll play as Scorpion. And, of course, we'll fight Sub-Zero. <laughs> but, uh, and we're missing some stages as well. So, we got ten stages. So... But yeah, I mean, since I uh, got done playing the Xbox One version, or Xbox One X version, I should say, on my 4K TV, uh, this is definitely going to be an interesting comparison, because I'm so used to the graphics on that one. So. so. Looks nice and smooth. Definitely lower resolution. <laughs> So, I mean, yeah, a gra detail looks good. It's just the resolution that's bad. But, play smooth. Hopefully it's capturing smooth on my capture card. But, yeah, it's playing really smooth on my TV. So, I mean, not, not a lot of content, though. I mean, it's too bad that it's not like a, a code to redeem the content where, you know, the... A used version of the game would only sell for ten dollars or something like that. Then I can justify spending the money on a physical version, which I, I I know for some people they're thinking it's not that big of a deal, but later down the road it'll be a big deal. But I mean, detail in the graphics look good. So I mean, the Switch version compared to the Xbox version, it's it's definitely good. I mean, for for a tablet, anyways. Yeah. <laughs> 
uh, I don't know. I still, I still like the classic Mortal Kombat's better. Let's see. Little, little choppy in some places. Actually, just remembered something. Let's retry so we can go to an options menu. Someone told me something about like an auto capture setting. Let's see if we can find it. Like you, you turn off some kind of auto capture setting or something like that in the options. Let's see, gameplay. Ah, oh, here it is, recorded matches. Uh, yes. Make sure that's saved. Like, you turn this off, the recorded matches, and it's supposed to make the game just a little bit smoother. So, let's see if it'll let me play. Oh, see, it won't even let me play the story mode without, without the downloaded data. Well, let you customize. You can do some practice and tutorial stuff. No fatality training. So that's it. That's all you got. With the cartridge, with if if Nintendo servers for the Switch were to ever cease to exist, and you just got this cartridge, you got just local fight, some kind of tournament mode, some practice tutorial stuff, and that's about it. And 16 characters and 10 stages. So... So let's play. Let's play Raiden. Uh, press A. Oh, is it one in the second player? Oh, it's probably one in the second player. Oh, fight a human opponent. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's one. Once a second player. Okay, so we'll go back to this. See, is there not even a... Can I not even do a tower? No, I can't even, can't even do a tower. Wow, so it's just basic fighting. Ugh, that is not a lot of content. That, that's too bad. So... We'll play Kano. So let's do Shang Tsung's Island Ruins. But that's, that's too bad they didn't put a lot of content on that. I mean, at the very least, they could have did like a, a 16 gig cart and do like a, like most of the online content need to be downloaded or something like that. So no, that, that's too bad. I mean, I mean, if I keep wanting to, I mean, if I keep wanting to play the game, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> uh, uh, see, I wasn't even hearing the, the taunts or anything. So, I mean, graphics graphics look great for the Switch. I mean, for a tablet for a tablet system. I mean. If all the content was on the cartridge and I had to pick the Switch version or the Xbox version right here, I would I would buy the Switch version, but yeah. But plays very smooth. I mean, 60 frames per second. It's I'm I'm super happy with the performance of it. So. Hopefully it's coming across in the captured footage here, but if not, then I need to upgrade my computer. But on this end, it looks amazing. It plays very smooth. But I'm still probably not going to buy it because, you know, of the major download. Oops. 
You never know. I'm, I may make an exception for this one game. <laughs> I've only made an exception for... Uh, ooh, I don't forget the fatality. I had it written down earlier. Ah, dang it. I should have put off a list to make them to do the fatalities really quick. But I've only made an exception for one game with the, my download rule, and that was Starlink. And that's because I bought it on uh, clearance somewhere for like really cheap, and it came with a ship. And my wife wanted it really, really bad. So, so now I'm going to download the content and see if there's any difference in the graphics or anything like that, which there probably won't be, but just, just to try it out online and whatnot. So I'll be back. Okay, so we're back. We got the game closed. We're out of airplane mode. We're connected to the internet. It is now downloading a major download. <laughs> so here's another reason why I hate that uh, putting partial data on your cartridge and having the rest being a download so the companies could save money by shipping on a smaller cartridge. You know, when I buy a physical game, I don't want to wait three hours until I actually get to play it. I mean, that's utter bull crap. You know, back in the original days, you buy a game, you buy something like this, you put it in your console, you play it. That's it. All right, we're back. We got our data downloaded. It took uh, two hours to download all the data. I was... I was able to make myself dinner <laughs> and eat it and play the practice on the Xbox One version a little bit while we were waiting. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, go to data management. Oops, not quick archive. Back, back, back. Don't want to archive anything. Uh, manage software. And yeah, here we are. 16.1 uh, gigs. So that is the download. I think I quoted 18 earlier, so it's actually 16.1. So we'll go ahead and play this now. We got all the content on here. You can actually see on the TV, uh, be behind me, right, right, right. It's, uh, trying to point my finger right. I'm looking at the camera. Right there. <laughs> That's the Xbox One version in demo mode behind me. <laughs> so. Seizure warning. I probably shouldn't joke about that. Probably not funny. Maybe a little funny. That's another way of saying don't sit so close to the TV. No, I do not agree to this user agreement. I'm only clicking agree so I can pay play the content that I paid for. Technically granted. <laughs> So, yeah, we got all the content available now. All the story, the tower, all the stuff. So, Classic Tower, it's your classic uh, Mortal Kombat style arcade gameplay. You know, you pick your tower. The bigger the tower, the bigger the difficulty. You, you go up through the story, and then, uh, or you go up through the battles, and then you beat the final boss, and it explains the ending if it was like a tournament style game. So... Pretty cool. So the story mode, of course, is like the actual Mortal Kombat story mode. It's it's basically an interactive movie. Um, honestly, if they cut this out of the cartridge version and made this just the story downloaded, downloadable, and everything else fine, that'd be fine. I mean, I, I guess I could live with that because it's all interactive movie anyway. You can just watch it on YouTube or something. But that's eh, still, I'm gonna be griping about that until. Ever. <laughs> um, customize. This is something I really like in the game. This is really cool. Where the previous Mortal Kombat game, you kind of had... Um, you pick your character and you have like three variations of characters. 
This one, you actually change the variation of the character. Like, you can actually customize it, so that's pretty cool. Like, let's change this, and let's make a new variation. And I'll kind of edit it to how I had it on the Xbox version I was playing earlier. Uh, let's see, it's... Oops, no, I don't want to default. Let's see, edit. And... We'll just name it after myself. Okay. And save. And edit this. And keep the mass the same. Give myself a different axe. Give myself different daggers. Cosmetics will make the same. We can change like the intros and stuff. It's kind of cool. I mean, a lot of a lot of different cool stuff. But this is this is what I like about it is you can actually change and customize all the special moves to your play style. So I mean that's that's pretty. Neat. I'm gonna get rid of creeping ice and replace it with cold cold shoulder. There we go. <laughs> yeah, cold shoulder. So, and deep freeze, which is a, uses two slots. So you basically got three slots, some, some use two. I'm going to give myself the throwing axe. And let's try this one. I, I didn't mess with this one too much. The death, death circle barrage. Basically just throw a bunch of ice picks at him. <laughs> so... I need to save. Did it save? Let's go back and see if it actually saved. So I remember I tried this earlier and it didn't save. Yeah, it didn't save the third ability. Uh, let's try that. There we go. Alright, saving variation. All right. So now we'll go to online. We'll see see how good the online is. You want to play a basic tutorial? No, nah, no thanks. I'm good. So this is my first time playing this on the Nintendo Switch online. So actually, it's my first time playing on Switch with all the data downloaded. <laughs> so yeah, this will be fun. Xbox version is pretty smooth if you got good internet. So I'm curious to see how this is going to be online in terms of lag and stuff. So ranked, casual, king of the hill. And we'll just do casual versus. So all the menus and stuff are still at 1080p. Oh, why is my phone beeping? Eh, who cares? <laughs> yeah, I'll play this, dude. Why not? Oh, did he decline? Looks like he declined. Alright, pick a different guy here. Hopefully there's plenty of people playing the Switch version. But yeah, the lag on the Xbox One version was pretty good, assuming you have a good internet connection. But also, my Xbox One, I keep the Ethernet wired. So, my Switch, of course, is wireless. So hopefully that doesn't factor in too much, because... You know, the difference between a wire and wireless connection could be, you know, the 10 millisecond delay time. So, as you can see right now, we got a lot more characters to choose from compared to when we didn't uh, download the data. So, we'll pick Sub-Zero. He's kind of become my character of choice for Mortal Kombat 11. At least the one I've been getting used to the most. Of course, we got 12 more stages to choose from. This stage I really like. This esports uh, stage. <laughs> I hope it picks it. It actually has like some arcade versions of past recent Mortal Kombat games. Ones that they didn't make arcade versions of. Just kind of in the background. So that's kind of cool. So. Of course I'm playing with a pro controller. 
Uh, D-pad on the Pro Controller, uh, usually it's pretty good. Um, the only time I've had issues with the D-pad on the Pro Controller is when playing uh, Tetris 99. Yeah, it's online is actually, oh, well, spoke too soon. A little smooth. God, the graphics look good for the Switch version. God dang. I don't know if I'm just used to them or the graphics look better uh, after the update. Maybe maybe they look a little bit better. This guy's beating the hell out of me though. Oh oh oh! Fail blow! Come on! Oh, I used it. Dang! So the Fatal Blow is like you would have in uh, past Mortal Kombat's when your meter built up. You use like that little cutscene thing. But in this it's like a... Uh, it's like when your health gets low. Not sure how I like it. Actually, yeah, it's actually it's pretty good. I, I, I like it. Uh, this guy's... Not blocking too well. Oh, I missed the field blow. He's gonna beat the hell out of me. Little, little laggy, little choppy. He's gonna do a fatality. Come on, do a fatality. Do a fatality. Don't disappoint me. Ah, oh, man. But like the the meters that you build up in the last couple Mortal Kombat games, kind of along the bottom of the screen that you saw there um you have a separate one for attack and a separate one for defense i don't quite have the rhythm down for using the defense one but the attack one pretty good it adds a little more to your special moves uh gameplay is pretty good i mean i again i prefer mortal kombat 9 for out of all the new more newer mortal kombat games i think that one does it the best but um but yeah, I mean it's 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 a good Mortal Kombat game. I love the customization aspect of it. Um, probably going to be a lot of DLC, and a lot of it is probably already loaded on your disc or cartridge or downloaded, uh, whatnot. Ugh. This guy's beating me up good. <laughs> But, um, yeah, in terms of, like, the content that you get for, I mean, if you don't mind the, the download thing, uh, the content that you get for when you, you pay your, your 60 bucks seems seems pretty good so far. Um, Mortal Kombat 9, I was really happy with the amount of content you got. Mortal Kombat X or Mortal Kombat 10, I was decently okay with it. Um, I didn't really care much for the story in Mortal Kombat X, but it was okay. I like the story in this one. There we go, got a field blow. Ah, oh, the resolution looks horrid. <laughs> Alright, come on, do a cool fatality. But I'm sure people... I mean, a lot of people are complaining about like the the grinding to unlock your stuff because when you win a battle you get like currency to unlock everything it's a little grindy but it, it's all right i guess they're gonna patch it to make it a little less grindy but um yeah i mean it's it, like they're probably gonna make it a little microtransaction heavy at least that's what people are saying uh, i remember mortal kombat x had a little bit of microtransactions here and there like uh, one button fatalities i actually thought that was cool i actually like one button fatalities but now i'm going to adjust this and do like a side-by-side -side comparison to the xbox one version real quick so give me just a second All right, so here I got some side-by-side -side comparison. Now, I'm not doing anything fancy like Digital Foundry because they're going to do their thing anyway. It's <laughs> but, I mean, I only got a, uh, 
I only got a older Elgato that captures 60 frames per second at 720p, but it was it was mainly just for like a little quick comparison here. But um, I should pick the same stage. That's okay. But yeah, I mean the graphics side by side look still look really good. I mean, of course, there's going to be some detail loss in the Switch version and stuff, but it for 60 frames per second, it still looks great. I mean, I'm still really happy with it. And I'm just playing this computer. I'm not playing online. Oh, computer's beating the hell out of me. There we go. I mean, uh, <clears throat> the Xbox One version, I was playing on an Xbox One X. I think I said that earlier, but just to, just to get that across. Uh-oh. Ooh. Am I, do I got enough health left? It's going to be close. I think he's got... Oh, he's got me. He's got me. <laughs> but, I mean, the big, the biggest thing is the... The resol... <coughs> Excuse me. The biggest difference is the resolution. I think the resolution... Uh, more than the actual detail of the graphics. But, yeah, I mean, everything plays really smooth. I mean, if I had a faster... Uh, computer that would be a little more stable during the video capturing and a uh, newer capture card <coughs> newer capture card excuse me um, I'd probably do like a little more detailed graphics video or something like that but Ah, dang it. I was trying to concentrate on playing for a second. I was doing better. So real quick, I just want to show what the game looked like in handheld mode, and it looks really good. Uh, it's still running less than its native 720p resolution, but it still looks really good and still plays at a good uh, 60 frames a second. So I'm definitely happy with the performance in handheld mode. So here's some of the DLC that's offered here. This is actually the one I like. I like the easy fatality tokens where it's like a one button fatality when you're playing. Um, you use it with, uh, uh, what do they call those? I forget, I forget the name of them. Like, like the little currency, like, uh, you can buy 40, uh, fatality, easy fatality tokens for 500 or five for 100. If I go over here, time crystals, that's what they're called, time crystals. So you can actually purchase them with actual cash. That's how they make some extra money. Uh, also, you can purchase uh, Shao Kahn if you didn't get the pre-order bonus, or Frost. Uh, future DLC they'll probably add here as well. Or you can get the whole Mortal Kombat 11 pack, which will be all the previous stuff. But this thing here, I know a lot of people hate microtransactions and stuff like that. This doesn't bother me too much, as long as you get a good amount of content for uh, what you already paid for. So I, 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 f I feel this game actually delivers pretty good. And a lot of this stuff is cosmetic. And Easy Fatality Tokens is, you know, to me is like a pretty cool way to do, uh, do a microtransaction. I mean, learn if you... The cool thing about that is when you're playing online and someone else pays for that and uses it, you as a viewer get to experience that as well when you're playing against them online. So that's kind of cool. So, but again... Um, they can make extra money at this, but they can't spend a, an extra couple bucks on a bigger cartridge. So, unfortunately, that's what it is. So, um, I don't know if I'm going... Again, 
I, I don't want to buy this game on the Switch because I don't want to support that business practice. Um, maybe I'll buy it used. Like in a couple months, I got a uh, trip. My wife and I got a trip that we're flying to visit a uh, family. Um, maybe I'll come across a used version or something like that. Maybe I'll break down and buy it anyway. Probably not. Um, I really don't want to. Uh, I'd rather wait down the road for them to come out with a, a complete version, you know, where they put all the DLC on a single cartridge. Hopefully they'll actually put the data on the cartridge and not do a download thing again. But like, you know, Mortal Kombat 9, you know, here it is, complete version. It's got all the DLC on it. Mortal Kombat 10 or XL did the same thing there. So they'll probably do it with this version. Um, when they do the Switch version, hopefully they will actually put all the data on a cart. Um, they got 32 gig carts out now. Um, Final Fantasy 10, 10, 2, the Asian version, Japanese version, uses that cart. Uh, that Dragon Quest game, I think it is Dragon Age or Dragon, not Dragon Age. Yeah, it's Dragon Quest. Some some Dragon Quest game on the Switch that uses the cart. So hopefully, a future version of this will do that. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if you're going to buy the Switch version anyway. Um, are you just going to buy the digital version? Um, yeah, uh, let me know what you think about the Switch version of Mortal Kombat versus the PlayStation and Xbox version. I think the Switch version is great. So, yeah, uh, please leave a comment down below, down below, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you for coming to my video. If you would like to help my channel grow, please like and subscribe and please click on this little bell icon so you never miss a future video.